to you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from Africa, Asia, Europe, America, or Australia, I thank you very much for your contributions on my channel. I appreciate your comments. I read all your comments and I go through them at all time. Thank you very much. Thank you for your contributions. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please kindly subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. Thank you and remember this. Remember, I bring you information or things that are happening in Nigeria. Things that are happening, more especially the southern part of Nigeria. We'll talk about the Biafra, we'll talk about the Odudua people. These are the areas I cover in this my program. I make sure I bring you information that is what is happening to your doorstep. Today, I want to talk about the issue of the Nigerian government banning Twitter. You know, we woke up to see that uh, the Twitter removed the hateful tweet that the Nigerian government made, which Buhari, the president of Nigeria, made on Twitter. Twitter removed it. Then, all hell broke loose. Lion Mohammed, who is the, they call him the, what they call him, the Minister of uh, Communication, came out to rend all, all sort of threats against Twitter. They are going to do this and do that. Accused Twitter of so many things that are just uh, unspeakable. Accused Twitter of sponsoring the NSAS. Accused Twitter of so many things, which I'm going to play the video for you to see. All these accusations we are being labeled against Twitter. All of a sudden, we woke up and see that Twitter removed that thing. And then, the uh, same people came out, the Nigerian government, announced that they have banned Twitter in Nigeria. <laughs> what a joke. What a joke. You banned Twitter in Nigeria. You see, that we say, that is why we are talking about this very contraption called Nigeria, that nothing is working. There are so many people in the government who are very irresponsible, more especially the presidency of that country. Very, very irresponsible. We have a tyrant in power. We have a dictator in power. Somebody who is not tolerant. Twitter removed the tweet he made, which is a hateful tweet. A hateful tweet. Very hateful. These are people that say that they are fighting against hate speech. But he made an incitement and hateful speech against the people of the southern part of Nigeria, more especially the Igbos, the Biafrans. But Twitter took it down now. They begin to react and act against Twitter. The next thing we see is that they are suspending Twitter from Nigeria. What a joke. Suspending Twitter from Nigeria. You see, the Nigerian government don't care about the masses. They don't care about the people. They never care about what people say. If Nigerian president was to be the president of the United States, whom Facebook and Twitter removed his account, he never banned them, he never did any attack on them, he never uttered any word, but everything continues as usual, even though he had the right to attack them and challenge them. But he never did so. He never banned Twitter, neither did he ban the Facebook on the United States. This is the place they copied the constitution that they are always threatening us with. Every time, what, when they talk about the constitution, they tell you they copied it from the U.S., they copy from US ports. All they went to copy are things to intimidate people. They never copy a good thing. They never copy a good thing. If you were Trump, what will you do? You banned Twitter in Nigeria, not considering the poor masses in Nigeria, more especially the youths. The youths who are striving on, twi on Twitter, who are doing their businesses on Twitter. Companies that are doing their businesses on Twitter. Do you know how many people that Twitter has employed in Nigeria? Twitter has given employment to many youths in Nigeria and they're making a hell of money in Twitter. You don't consider that, you don't care about it, you went and ahead to ban Twitter. What are you tweeting? You are not using Twitter. What do you tweet? What information do you have to pass in Twitter? All this is an attack against the southern part of Nigeria. Because those who are using the Twitter and those who are striving on Twitter are people from the southern part of Nigeria. They are people from the southern part of Nigeria. How many Northerners are on Twitter? How many Northerners? How many northern youths are on Twitter using it? You can barely find it, maybe 1% or 2% of them. But go to the southern part of Nigeria, all of them are on Twitter, doing one business or the other, supporting themselves in a country where there is no employment, in a country where insecurity has become the talk of the day, in a country where the government has no plan for any individual. They went ahead to ban Twitter. You see, that is what we are saying. Why did they ban Twitter? Why did they ban Twitter? For no reason. Let me play for you the reason they gave why they banned Twitter. Hear from Laya Mohammed once again. The mission of Twitter in Nigeria is very, very suspect. As, as Twitter deleted the violent tweets that Inamidikano has been sending, 
has it has it the same twitter during the NSAS program that was funding NSAS protesters the mission of twitter in nigeria is very very suspect as, as twitter deleted the violent tweets that inamitikano has been sending has he has it the same twitter during the NSAS program that was funding NSAS protesters after hearing from Lai Mohammed, you can see how do you justify what he's saying to make him to ban Twitter in Nigeria? Not considering the poor masses who are making their livelihood from Twitter. Not considering the companies who are using Twitter. Not considering all the establishments in Nigeria that are using Twitter. He went ahead to ban Twitter for no just cause. The only reason he is given that why didn't Twitter remove the tweet of Mazen than the can. Twitter has a fact check. They have a fact check. Whatever Mazen Nandekano tweets on Twitter, if it is not correct, Twitter will take it down. If it is not correct, the Twitter will take it down. Whatever Mazen Nandekano is tweeting is being fact checked. And when it's being fact checked, you see that what is said is the truth. The truth and nothing but the truth. And you don't expect Twitter to remove a truthful message that Mazen Nandekano is preaching on that very place to call the attention of the world on things that are going in Nigeria. If other Nigerians don't want to talk about it, the elites of Nigeria don't want to talk about it. Other Nigerians are going about their business as if nothing is wrong. But Mazen Nandekanu took up his time to be able to enlighten the world and awaken the world, tell them what is happening in, in, in the country called Nigeria. And thank God, today, the world is hearing. They know what is going on in Nigeria. It is no longer something that is being hidden. Everybody knows what is going on in Nigeria. And nobody is going to be silent anymore. It is not going to be business as usual. I used to tell you all the time, it can never be business as usual. The game has changed. The game has changed. But the funny thing, you still see some people coming to defend this man. Some people coming to defend the indefensible in this Bukhari. I want to play with for you a video of one person who was somebody that wanted to contest for presidency in Nigeria. They called him Gar Garba Adamu. Garba Adamu came out to defend the president once again. This was the man that went to sue Twitter the last time during the NSAS program. He came out to defend Buhari saying that he's happy about the situation. Watch the video, then we can talk about it. And you are happy today, isn't it? Yes, I'm happy. Seriously. And it's clearly showing that actions cannot just happen without consequences. And Twitter, if you study their mode for the last two years, they have been more of an anti-Nigerian force pro destruction of Nigeria than actually a platform that's supposed to advocate for freedom of expression of Nigerians. Because if you look at what happened now with the suspension of uh, maybe removal of some of the tweets of the president, I can't see any very strong word, a vile word like that of that criminal Namdi Kanu that has been left to still be available on Twitter. Meanwhile, a president of a country who is democratically and legitimately elected to be the leader of a nation, making a statement, talking, giving a language, we will communicate in the language that they understand. And that becomes a very serious uh, issue to Twitter and violating their rules. We don't know what kind of rule is that. And then they decided to embarrass the country, not the president. So therefore, they have to be suspended. You know, as you rightly said, I took them to court during NSAS process simply because I noticed exactly what these guys are trying to do is to break this country. They tend to amplify a lot of fake news and rise a lot of tension in the street, making the country to be more destroyed. So the best solution is to see how we can arrest them. And we did that. So at that moment, so many Nigerians don't understand. They came attacking me, insulting me, calling me a series of names simply because they thought I was going against NSAS. I wasn't against NSAS. I was against a tool that is planning to destroy Nigeria. And we have seen that very clearly. We have a very serious crisis in the Southeast where these guys are destroying fundamental institutions of Nigerian democracy, INEC offices, police institutions, courts. They are killing people on the street, destroying people's properties. And then Twitter is behind them. That's what I used to call them. I think Twitter is like kind of an iPop online machine. Because what they do more is supporting iPop much more than the government. And iPop, everyone knows they are anti-Nigeria. Their target is to destroy Nigeria. This even left somebody to be asking questions. We have uh, 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 Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Wela, the current director of WTO, on the board of Twitter. 
Is she part of the instigators of Twitter? Why won't she call them to order when they are talking against Nigeria? Why is it that we never had a single tweet or any comment from Dr. Ngozi Okonjo well about the activities of Twitter? Is she supporting IPOP? Mm. These are the kind of things that we need to be very, very to clear bring about. That into the conversation it is very, very necessary this. because this is very serious. You can't have an organization, a platform company, a company that is profit making, that is even making profit out of Nigeria, that has its massive users in Nigerian domain, that decided to carry its office to Ghana and employ Ghanaians against Nigerians, and then decided to keep sponsoring content against Nigeria and Nigeria's interests all the time. And then we decided to sit down and keep it. So we have to ask some questions. It's not all about uh, uh, Twitter. It's about the corporate existence of a country from a vile individual that is constantly calling the blood of me as a Fulani man and the blood of all Nigerians and any other person that claims to be Nigeria. So it's a very serious issue. It's not something we need to take it lightly. And that is why I am particularly very happy that the government has seen Twitter for who they are and decided to take this action. These are the kind of people you have. The kind of elites you have in the north. These are the kind of elites you have in the north. This was the same man that came out to say that the cow is more viable than the crude oil. He came out to boast that the cow is more viable than the crude oil and they have more space of land. If the cow is more viable than the crude oil and you have a massive land in the north, why are you insisting on holding on to this very one, 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 one Nigeria that doesn't work? Why are you insisting on holding the southern part of Nigeria down to be with you? Your cow is very viable, I agree with you. It's very viable. It can feed the whole world. You can make a hell of money out of it, more than the crude oil. You have a large land mass where you can do your economic program, you can do your agriculture, whatever. Why are you still holding down on the south? Why are you clinging on this south since you know that you, have, you, you can make it by yourself? These are the kind of people we have in the northern part of Nigeria trying to incite their people against the South, trying to impoverish their people, make their people more uneducated. This is the people they call elites. These are the people that the masses are looking upon in the North. How do you think that this very contraption can survive? How do you think, where will you start to make amends when you have this kind of people in the M of affairs? How can you start to make amends? The only solution remains the breakup. Once you break it up, these people will go back and fix their problem before they will begin to talk of integrating with anybody. They not have to sit down and fix their problem. People like this has to be taught a lesson. That is why there has to be a breakup. If you break it up, then people like this can be able to be brought to book. They can be able to be checkmates in their not. Because I know there are some intelligent people in the not who will not say this same thing that this man is saying. He's saying it because he's benefiting. He's one of the elites who has impoverished the North. But when you break it up, then he will have people to teach him a lesson in the North. The only solution remains break up to save life. Break up. It is not out of hate. It is out of love that every region in that very country will have the chance to survive and strive. The chance to benefit and be able to give up their best. Thank you so much for watching wherever you are watching from. If you agree with me, go to the comment section and put down your comment. If you don't agree, also put your comment and say your feelings the way you feel it. It's all welcome. Thank you so much and remember us. Bye-bye. See you again on the next video.